The Boar Knight, Part One, The Moloch. Everything that thinks and lives, which is more than you may think yourselves, has things of which it thinks very little of during its day-to-day -day life. To a star, thinking on grand star things, such as what fun constellations to make with its friends in the next millennium, the idle thoughts of a large planet mean very little. Even less so the thoughts of a mountain upon that planet, or a forest on that mountain, or a tree in that forest. As a human, with your long legs, many fingers, and interesting takes on art, you may think very little on the lives and thoughts of the four-legged creatures in your world. You would think even less so on those you do not know at all. But. For、well, you may know of a mouse, a pig, a horse, or a boar. You certainly do not know of a magical boar, and that is exactly whom this story is about: a magical boar named Nathaniel, a valiant swine whose great deeds and righteous acts make him a true knight. On one strange day, far away, in the world you've never known. That boar you never knew, who means very little to you, and even less to a mountain or a star, set out on a journey that would mean a great many things to a great many people. And it all began when Nathaniel, the boar knight, awoke in the forest, not knowing he was a knight or that he was Nathaniel at all. You shouldn't fall asleep in these woods. At least not this part. It's not a very good idea at all. I haven't seen you here before. Can I help you find something, or somewhere? Me, Mr. Boar. Have you never seen a hedgehog before? Well, that's all right. We don't like to be seen and are very proficient at hiding ourselves away. But you should get going. This is no place to rest your eyes. Why? Well, Mr. Boar, because of the M M M M's. The M M M M's are the mischievous memory mining moles. They live in this part of the woods, and if you fall asleep here, they will certainly find you. And when they find you. Oh, they'll take away your memories to hoard for the winter. It's a terrible state. Happened to my poor cousin Herbert last autumn. My poor cousin Herbert couldn't even remember he liked mushroom pot pie, though he promptly rediscovered that he did. <laughs> oh no, really? Well, do you remember anything at all? <laughs> Why don't you stand up and get out from under that blanket of yours? Maybe a trot in the fresh air will jog your memory. That's not a blanket. It's a cape, and you've a sword as well. You're a knight, Mr. Boar. Your sureness, or sureness, or no, I'm certain. Look there, under your belly. You've a fancy cap too. You must be a knight. I've never met a knight before, but oh, you, oh, can't even remember you're a knight. No worries, Sir Boar Knight. Sir, I'll help. Could you imagine me helping a knight? It must have been the mischievous memory mining moles who took your memories, but I know the nearest entrance to their tunnels. Oh, if they'd have known you were a knight, I'm sure they wouldn't have taken your memories, sir. But with winter approaching, I'm sure they're desperate to store as many memories as they can. Yes, I think we can. No worries. Follow me, Sir Boar, and we can try to get your memories back. It's not far. 
My brother Hector just won't believe I've helped a knight. Oh, but that's okay. I'll know I've done it, and I think it's important to do. Hector doesn't believe much, but I'll be so glad if we can recover your memories. <coughs> Why do they do it? Hmm, well, they're the MMMs, and they store memories for winter. It's just the way they work out here. When all the other animals hibernate or fly away for the winter, the MMMs use the memories to keep themselves happy and warm. We also have the BBBs, the Black Bluebell Bunnies, who only eat bluebell buds and pay the... Oh! <laughs> and be sure not to confuse the MMMs with the MMMs. <laughs> well, <laughs> that would be embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course you would confuse them if you don't have any memory of them. Well, you know the MMMs, but the MMMs are the meticulous measurement mice. And should you ever have a need for a new cap or cape, they are the right rodents for the job. Never a millimeter off in size and never a stitch out of place. Best woodland tailors for at least 15 glens. They just made my mother a new frock last month. <laughs> Me? Well, I'm an FGH, like my family and my ancestors before me. A friendly, generous hedgehog, always here to lend a paw. Unlike those FFHs, the friendly flying hedgehogs, who will swoop in for some polite conversation from time to time, but are generally disinclined to help you move a table or shake out a large rug. Aha! Here we are, the burrow entrance for the MMMs. I'll fit perfectly well, but I'm afraid it may be quite the tight squeeze for you, Sir Bornite. <laughs> Have all those rats been under your cape this whole time? Well, they certainly like you. So it seems they're friends of yours. But I don't recognize them from this forest. No, not at all. They must have come here with you. No memories, though, I'm guessing. No. Ah, oh, well. You're all right, Sir Knight. Boars live in burrows, too. This is more a matter of size than comfort. But I'll go first. And please, do follow. Ah, we're getting closer. You can hear their melodies. Seems like a memory mining melody to me.
see? Every day, when people walk around, they trample these old memories far, far down, deep enough for us to mine. But they aren't enough. Not for the winter. So in our forest, if you fall asleep, we are under decree to harvest what we need. Memory mining, memory mining, memory mining balls. Memory mining, memory mining, memory mining balls. Forget any reasons or even to say please. All the little things we most in mind are memories like these. All the little things we most in mind are memories like these. Little things. What are you doing here? Who are you? This is mischievous memory mining old territory. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I'm Huey of the FGH, and I'm here to help my new friend here, Sir Bornight. Regardless of your mission, this burrow is memory mining mole territory, and we cannot let you pass unless you have official MMMM business. <laughs> Took your memory, you say? You're a knight. We would never. You'll have to prove it. We can't remember how to prove it. Well, yes, that checks out. Uh, we can take you to the waiting hall of the Mole Monarch, as the decision of your memory is not mine to make. Please follow us. So you think his memory is still intact? Will it all be there? Every good day and tired one? All the fun meals and special events? If the memory harvest was recent, it should all be intact and stored for the winter. I cannot promise it, but that is the normal way of things. We're all trying to prepare for the cold. <clears throat> Mighty Mo Monarch! I bring you Sir Bornite and Huey and FGH, who claims the theft of the Bornite's memory. Nonsense. While we do harvest memories, without express permission, due to our dire need to live through the winter, we do not take memories from knights. It is strictly forbidden. I agree, Sir Boar. It did look like you were a normal boar sleeping beneath the blanket before I woke you. A mistake. Not on my part, but perhaps on the part of my miners. Yes, perhaps. Some of them are very eager to mine as much as possible, as the predictions for the upcoming winter are very harsh and long. Their enthusiasm may have... Well, we can certainly check. Why? Why mine the memories without permission? Well, I don't know. I will answer your question. We live off tiny bits of memory, like morsels of bread for mice. We need memories to keep us warm and strong, and it's usually the memories creatures wish to hold on to and cherish which are the most nourishing. Stories of love and strength keep my people alive and warm, and as monarch I must think of my people first. And certainly, your memories as a knight would warm a whole burrow with ease. But, mind you, knights serve a higher purpose, and we do not permit the memories of knights to be mined. The mole miners in the tunnels? Why, they are mining lost memories. Creatures drop memories mindlessly as they walk by, grinding them into the dirt over the years. The whereabouts of your favorite pen, the name of your third best friend when you were away at summer camp, the lyrics to a song you've not heard in years. These snippets of memories lie lost in the earth. They are not terribly filling, but we mind them nonetheless. Mighty Mole Monarch, perhaps you do not need to have this brave knight's memory if he will tell you the stories of his adventures of valor. Stories do not sate our hunger. They are... A treat, akin to a fine bread pudding, topped with sprinkles, lemon sauce, and poppy seeds. Mm. I will return the memories to you, Sir Knight, as they should not have been taken. 
If you feel inclined to grace us with your tales, we would enjoy the luxury. Bring me the memories of this boar knight. Yes, yes mighty monarch. monarch. <clears throat> Here you are, mighty monarch. Boar knight, eat this acorn. It contains all the condensed memories we have taken from you. It appears you have had a busy and exciting life. This acorn is heavy. Oh, so happy to help! Nathaniel the Boar Knight, I've heard tales of you, sir. Gather round. Gather round my memory mining moles, and hear the tales of Nathaniel the Boar Knight, who graces us with his stories of valor and danger. Knight who confined the mighty and malicious dragon Malifaux to his own trap? How astonishing! The vanquisher of the Lich of Warwick is here? In our halls? The savior of Boar's End? It is you! Oh, I knew it! I knew it! As soon as I saw that cape and sword, Nathaniel the Boar Knight! Well, my brother will never ever believe this! <laughs> Oh, did... did you say... Wermanism? Wermanism? Curse! A curse, vile and horrid curse! Not in my domain, not near my subjects! Get out! Out! Knight or no, you cannot stay! Sir Nathaniel, Wermanism is a threat to this borough. By order of our monarch, you must leave. The monarch commands it, and we moles ask it of you as well. Sir Nathaniel the Boar Knight will always be welcome in these tunnels, but I must insist, for the sake of my moles, that you leave at once until you are healed of this accursed ailment. Think of the moles! Think of the pups! Please leave! Don't worry, Sir Nathaniel. You're a knight! If anyone can find a cure to wermanism, well, I believe it would be you. Why, there are tales about a great wolf who was once struck with wermanism, and she got that cleared right up. But I really can't remember how. Well, maybe it was a bear. Ah, back out in the trees. I'm glad to have helped such a great knight, Sir Nathaniel. But I can't stay here with a possible wereman either. My fellow FGHs would disown me, and I just can't think of anything more terrible than that. Not even the weremanism itself. <coughs> well, I don't have any idea for a weremanism cure. I don't really know much of what goes on outside my home. But a storyteller might. Storytellers know so much about curses, tales, myths, and the like. I just saw one this morning, I think, going to the village. It's just over those hills and across the river. It's a wonderful hike, but a bit long. Then again, your legs are a lot longer than mine. <coughs> Travel safe, Sir Nathaniel. And I hope you can find the cure. Thank you for all you have done for the small creatures of this land. You are a hero among us. And in these scary times, we really need heroes. If you ever come this way again, be sure to ask around for Huey. I'd very much like to hear more stories of your great adventures. Farewell. There, in the twilight of the woods, Nathaniel bid farewell to Huey the Hedgehog his small and finely prickled friend. 
The bold knight was worried he would feel lonely traveling those woods to the distant lands beyond. That is, until his friends, the many rats whom had once exited his cape, ran back inside to keep warm upon his back and shared the delicious fresh mushrooms recently harvested from the nearby underbush. The boar now remembered he was a knight, a hero of the land, a champion of the people. But he also knew he suffered from an affliction, a most dreadful curse, Wermanism. He had yet to transform into a human, but with every passing day, the full moon would grow nearer. So, questing for a cure, Nathaniel set off to the nearby town in search of a storyteller who could share the myths of Wermanism. But our trotting hero never expected the grand adventure set in motion before him. The Boar Knight, written by K.A. Stats. Produced with additional sound design and accordion by Travis Vengroff. Edited with sound design and mixing by Dane Leonardson. With music by Stephen Malin, Brandon Strader, and Travis Vengroff. And orchestration by Mike Petri. Starring Sam Yao, Paul Maya, Christy Luce, Daria Ullman, Jordan Cobb, and Travis Vengroff. This is a Fool and Scholar production. Thank you for listening. Here comes the